Hi, I'm Gary Locke, America's Ambassador to China. And I'm Mona Locke. We're here to tell you how important it is that young Americans develop a deeper understanding of China and why we hope you'll join the 100,000 Strong Initiative, which seeks to dramatically increase the number and diversity of U.S. students studying in China. As a son and grandson of Chinese immigrants, I'm honored to serve the United States in my family's native land and to share this experience with Mona, whose parents also emigrated to the United States from China. Living in China and seeing our three children explore and grow in this rapidly changing society has been an amazing experience. Our time in China will make an indelible mark on their worldview, and they'll have had the awesome opportunity to learn about China, one of the most dynamic countries in the world, firsthand. This knowledge will serve them well, no matter what path they take in their future. China is the second largest economy in the world, and it's America's biggest trading partner outside of North America. Our global future will be defined by the U.S.-China relationship. So we must work together. We must be partners. Now, this doesn't mean we're always going to agree on everything, but it's important we understand where the other side is coming from so that we can talk to each other and negotiate with respect and knowledge, even on the tough issues. How can we do this? By ensuring that our young people have the opportunity to interact with and get to know their Chinese peers that they develop their personal and professional skills to operate in a very different culture, that they learn Mandarin, study in China, make Chinese friends, and work hard to deeply understand them. Americans must be challenged to reach out far beyond their safety zone and take that life-transforming leap of getting to know China. President Obama recognized the impact that study abroad can have on the U.S.-China relationship. And that's why in 2009 he announced the 100,000 Strong Initiative, which seeks to have 100,000 Americans studying in China over the next four years. It's also why Education USA, the U.S. Embassy in Beijing's Educational Advising Service, is working so hard to create partnerships between Chinese and American colleges and universities. My professional background is in journalism, and I know that we must build not only our next generation of diplomats, but also of business executives, engineers, teachers, and journalists, you name it, to be successful in a world in which China plays a critical role. We simply have to create cross-cultural understanding so that our future political leaders can work together to address our biggest challenges, nuclear proliferation, climate change, global financial instability, poverty, and pandemic disease, just to name a few. And we must create opportunities for all Americans, regardless of background. When First Lady Michelle Obama talked about the importance of study abroad just a few years ago, she said that when she was young, she thought these programs were not for students like her. Believe me, I know. I was one of those kids, too. And though I served as Secretary of Commerce and Governor of the State of Washington, I did not come from privilege. In fact, it took our family 100 years to move one mile from the house where my grandfather worked as a servant to the governor's mansion in Washington State. I first grew up in public housing worked odd jobs and could not have gone to college or law school without scholarship or financial aid. Many of you are in the same position. You might think that learning languages and traveling abroad are for other wealthier kids. But studying Mandarin and studying in China are for everyone. So heed the challenge. I guarantee that your eyes will be opened and your prospects expanded. Study in China and become one of the 100,000 strong. Become one of the 100,000 strong and invest in your future, America's future, and our global future.